What is the weirdest talent you have? I can uh, move my ears. Have you ever tried to impress someone and if yes, then what was the silliest thing you did for impressing? Tough question then, seems a lot of tough question. <laughs> well, seeing the result in front of you is a different feeling. I mean, I don't know, it's really hard to describe. There is okay. a certain... Hello everyone, today we have Raghav Goel with us. Uh, he cracked JE with AR4 and Raghav, we already know many things about you but can you just introduce yourself with telling us something which we don't know? I am Raghav Ganavs and um, one thing you might not know about me is that actually I actually liked preparing for JE and that is one of the reasons I feel that I did well in Okay, when did you start your IIT preparation? I started IIT preparation in 11th. Oh nice. And uh, what are the best books according to you for JE preparation? So the best books for JE preparation in general would be, for example, for physics we have uh, Physics Galaxy, and for chemistry I mostly followed uh, uh, notes from class. So I don't have many books, but for solving I used to solve books like Hemanshu Pandey, M S Chauhan, and uh, Neeraj Pandey, and stuff like that. And uh, for mathematics books like Vinay Kumar and Samir Basil are really nice. Okay, so uh, like, could you tell us about something about your family background? Where are you from? Mm. So I'm from Chandigarh, and my parents are uh, like um, entrepreneurs, and uh, my and my father was also from an engineering background, and my grandfather my grandfather is actually a physics teacher. Oh, so uh, um, currently, yeah, as I said, my parents are. Uh, pursuing a business okay. and my brother also went through IIT and now he is uh, doing a job in the institute. Achha. So as you said, your grandfather is a physics teacher, hai, toh, like did you uh, learn some lessons with him for the J prep, like some doubts or something like that? Uh, not many, but uh, there, there used to be like this culture from the start that uh, not during JE as such, but in, during the younger classes, I often used to like, you know, uh, clarify stuff with him. But then mostly in 11th and 12th, uh, teaching shifted to coaching institutions. So, uh, how was your daily schedule during the JE preparation? So, my daily schedule used to be usually that 9 to 2, there used to be often classes. Hmm. And then there used to be a break from 2 to 3. And in the time from 3 to 8, we would study for about 3 to 4 hours. Okay. And the time, we would enjoy. Achha. So, मतलब, like, uh, there are some instances where we don't want to read the books. Like, sometimes, sometimes we burn up by studying. So, what do you do in such times? How do you used to chill around? So, often I used to go with my friends. And uh, one important thing in this regard is that when we have a peer group, na, toh, that situation doesn't come very easily because, I mean, if you're studying the rest of the group, you're studying the rest of the group. So I also used to take breaks here and I don't have to read today. But what do you do in breaks in general? So like as I said, mostly like hang out with my friends at institute. Or else, I used to watch TV and sometimes use phone. Okay, okay. Which was your favorite subject? My favorite subject was mathematics. Okay. Is it common between all the top rankers, like they like only mathematics because I have been taking interviews of other students too and their favorite subject is also mathematics. That might be the case because uh, GE mathematics requires innovation yeah. and uh, innovation is always really fun. So huh. that, that, that kind of okay. thing. Did you used to give equal time to all the subjects? Mostly yes, when during the end chemistry increased in importance okay. because it needs to needs attention. During yeah, that. okay. So what was the most challenging topic for you during your preparation and how did you overcome it like academically which topic was very hard to understand? So the hardest topic for me was chemistry Achha. and uh, this, this was because I didn't have a natural interest in it and from the start so I was a bit lagging there. and but then like when JE came close I automatically had the motivation to uh, like study chemistry well and I continually uh, kept reading notes again and again and again and like then slowly 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 i it turns out that i remembered the notes okay Achha. 
हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम डिस्ट्रैक्शन तो गाइज मैंने रिसेंटली ना अपने चैनल का ये वाला कमेंट पढ़ा और मुझे सच्ची बताओ ना बहुत बुरा लगा कि बच्चे कभी कभी इतना कोशिश करते हैं इवन ड्रॉप लेते तब भी कभी कभी आई नहीं निकाल पाते और उनको ऐसे लगता है कि उनके आई का सपना अधूरा रह जाएगा ऐसी बात नहीं यू कैन स्टिल गेट इन टू आई वी आर गेट एग्जाम गेट एग्जाम एक ऐसा एग्जाम है जिससे आपको वेरियस अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिलती है और वन ऑफ देम इज मास्टर्स इन आई और इसी साल से गेट एग्जाम में एक नया पेपर एड हुआ है डेटा साइंस एंड ए और इसी पेपर के प्रिपरेशन को लेकर ना काफी सारे स्टूडेंट कंफ्यूज है कि इसका प्रिपरेशन कैसे करें और इसका सॉल्यूशन लेके आए गेट वाला जिन्होंने एक नई बैच लॉन्च की है पराक्रम गेट 2024 स्पेशली फॉर डेटा साइंस एंड ए इसके अलावा बाकी सारे बैचेस भी है जैसे की श्रेष्ठ विजय पराक्रम टू ऑल फॉर गेट एग्जाम और इन पे ना अभी इंजीनियर्स डे के अवसर पे तगड़ा डिस्काउंट चल रहा है बैच के नोटिस सेक्शन पे लेक्चर्स एंड टेस्ट प्लानर अपलोड हो चुके हैं क्लासेस मंडे से फ्राइडे हो गया एंड देर विल बी लाइव लेक्चर्स लाइव डिस्कशन प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट एंड ईटीसी। आपके डाउट सॉल्व करने के लिए एक डाउट इंजिन भी होगा आपको पीवाई क्यूज मिलेंगे इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्विज एंड देर विल भी वीडियो सोल्यूशन फॉर एवरी क्वेश्चन गेट वाला ने गेट प्रिपेरेशन के लिए एक डेडिकेटेड बुक भी लॉन्च किया जिसके अंदर लास्ट सिक्सटीन ईयर के पीवाई क्यूज है हर क्वेश्चन का सोल्यूशन क्यू कोड में एम्बेड किया गया है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वीडियो और अगर आपको ये बुक खरीदनी हो या फिर किसी भी बैच में एनरोल करना हो तो डिस्क्रिप्शन की लिंक चेकआउट करना अगर आपको डिस्काउंट चाहिए हो तो आर यू के फाइव हंड्रेड ये कोड जरूर यूज करना बाकी अभी अपन अपना इंटरव्यू कंटिन्यू करते हैं हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम डिस्ट्रैक्शन सो देर वर डिस्ट्रैक्शन डेफिनेटली बट लाइक इफ यूर इंटरेस्टेड इन वॉट यू डू दो नॉट पोज अ प्रॉब्लम ओके अच्छा बट डिड यू अप्लाई एनी टेक्निक्स और लाइक एनी सेट ऑफ रूल्स टू not getting distracted or like mm, not really i was actually one of the lesser disciplined students acha but uh, yeah i mean i used to do things what i and like when you are sitting in the institute and you with your friends then there are automatically some rules that you decide amongst hmm. yourself ki abhi padh lete hain aise karke karke mujhe nahi aata okay so did you have any unique study techniques or rituals that help you to get such an amazing rank uh, <laughs> uh i am like secret of toppers something like that this my, like one thing i realized towards the end was focus focus was extremely important hmm. and uh, towards the last few months i built focus very well i tried to build focus very well like sitting for longer slots and uh, um like studying more focus so that your mind doesn't distract mm-hmm. this was often a problem with mm-hmm. me and i worked on that and that is extremely important for you okay actually. so can you be more specific like how did you work on that like because this is a problem which many of the students face mm-hmm. and like this is the one of the biggest problem i think mm-hmm. so do you know so anything? there is no hard and fast solution but uh, the best thing to do is sit for longer slots that is extremely helpful and besides that you need to catch yourself when you are thinking of other things and try to get back again and again okay. and again okay you just need to remind yourself, yourself continuously okay. okay so apart from academics uh, what are the other things i uh, am good at music huh. i am uh, trained in hindustani classical music and okay. that is one of that was one of my subjects in the 12th board as well yeah. uh-huh. and besides that um, i used to play chess table tennis mm-hmm. and yeah that's okay what advice would you give to the j aspirants who are targeting the top rank um just follow what your teachers say uh, they know the best you often want to apply your own mind and mm-hmm. do something else mm-hmm. but if you follow your teachers you will okay uh, be well off so oh, what are going to you is the best method for doing revision uh the best method to do revision is to read the notes again and again rather yeah. than stressing upon okay i don't remember then just keep the need reading the notes again and again okay uh what was your motivation for iit my motivation for iit is was that i knew that i really liked the subjects and uh, i would really love computer science and we know that it's an amazing uh like platform to do anything i would like further be it mathematics be it computer science or anything okay tumhe pata tha ke tumhara rank single digit aane wala tha before the results before the results yes because marks are often estimated acha theek hai and uh, discussed among teachers theek hai so i knew that my rank would, would be single digit but where in top 10 it, it would exactly be is, it was very unclear okay so jab tumhe result pata chala like when you saw that ar4 in front of your name What was your reaction and your parents' reaction? 
I mean, how, however much you know that you'll get a single digit rank, still seeing the result in front of you is a different feeling. Because, I mean, um, everybody is happy and, I mean, a little... I don't know, it's really hard to describe. There is okay. this certain happiness and that's all. Okay. <laughs> okay. What was your parents and friends' role during your JA preparation? Okay. So, my parents uh, played a very important role in all the logistical support and in general they provided me with emotional support because JE is a very trying journey okay. and often you need to matlab, get your head straight that okay fine I'm doing is fine or you know chalta hai agar kharab ho gaya. so hmm. I even often talk to my parents about that. Friends ke saath, I mean uh, they, are, they were the one that made the JE journey fun as well yeah, because huh, exactly. uh, of all the fun I would have to have, have with them. Okay. Uh, did you participate in any competitive or Olympiads in, before ap- appearing for JE? Yes, I participated in physics and ast- like in all the Olympiads and uh, went to the international physics and astronomy. Okay, how was your experience there? That was amazing. Uh, th- going to international Olympiad is an extremely amazing experience because you get to meet a lot of people from a lot of different countries with different aims, different goals, different ideas of fun and that's all amazing a lot of exposure to the yes yep. okay what would have you done if not prepared for iit hmm if i would have not prepared for iit maybe i would have applied to research institutes okay i guess okay uh if we remove ge from your life then 10 years down what you want people to remember you for hmm i want to remember i want people to remember me for like the excellence in the subject I study and uh, an overall rounded personality. So what I want is that I am known for being the best in what I do mm. as well as being a very well-rounded personality, fun to talk to and all the things. Mm. Okay. Is there any final like uh, piece of advice for the aspirants watching over there? Like what you want, what will you advise them? Trust your teachers, parents and try to have fun in what you do. Just enjoy the journey and it will be fruitful. Okay. Now uh, we are in the last segment of our interview. Like there are some funny questions. If you could do time travel in any period in history, when and where would you go? Hmm, That's a good question. Probably I would like to go to um, the medieval age and see how stuff is handled then. Like um, an an interesting thing would be to show them our technology and make them think we are, you know, gods or something like that would be amazing and (laughs) something like that. It would be really nice to see how all the kingdoms and all those things actually worked. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what will you do if you wake up as the opposite gender? Hmm. So waking up as the opposite gender would be interesting in the sense that uh, people from like People will talk to you a different way, your own gender will talk to you a different way and the op- other gender will talk no. to you a different way. So seeing that and seeing how a woman would live, live her life would be interesting. That's okay. I don't know what I would do. Okay. okay. No worries. If you could have uh, any celebrity as your college roommate, whom hmm. it would be? Hmm. Um, it could be... <laughs> But still, like, who's the uh, most favorite celebrity? Um, I think Akshay Kumar is a very nice actor. Okay. Uh, like, uh, what is the worst habit of your roommate? I know like you haven't been together for a long time, but just uh, if you have observed any worst habit in him. Hmm, I'd rather not say seriously. Okay. <laughs> you can see this. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be CEO of any company, what company it would be? That would be interesting. I would probably like to be the CEO of Amazon. Okay. And uh, no, actually the CEO of uh, uh, Tesla and okay. be able to see all the like projects they're mm. undertaking. That okay. would be amazing. Okay. So, uh, any fictional character you want to date? Uh, that is another question I haven't ever thought about. Uh-huh. But. Uh, I would like to date uh, Geet from uh, Jab We Met. <laughs> okay. And w- like, if you could travel to your future self, what's, what's the one question you would ask? The one question that I would ask is whether you are happy at what you're doing or not. Just, just uh, I don't, I don't necessarily want that I do the best. That I do the best thing that is out there. I just want that I enjoy my 
uh, work and enjoy my home life and enjoy my like life in general as a whole that's a very good answer because eventually what we need to be is happy so we yeah, have i am appreciate your answer what will be your reaction if a girl ask you out if she is uh, hot beyond a certain level definitely yes uh, otherwise hmm i mean we'll see at least i like the attention okay. <laughs> what is the one thing which you want to do in iit before you leave hmm. from iit i want to um, like go with my friends to a lot of different places hmm. and roam some tourism some place some very good place with my friends and you know just take that experience okay one superpower you wish you had one superpower super hmm i think i would like to superpower to be uh to be able to read someone's mind that would okay, be really that's nice. a very invasion of privacy wali thing <laughs> <laughs> okay if you could eat only one food for the rest of your life what would it be hmm i think it would be assuming it has no health repercussions uh, pizza okay if you could swap life uh, swap your life with any celebrity for a day who would it be so i would like to um, swap my life with such so a you, you want to go through his startup journey or something ah, just like see that. like what's the feeling of you know just having finally done it and hmm. just enjoying without <laughs> working and just see all this yeah, yeah 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 okay i completely understand it like uh, have you ever tried to impress someone and if yes then what was the silliest thing you did for impressing tough question then seems like a bot tough question to start <laughs> uh impress karne ki to i have obviously tried to impress people but uh, uh have done any silly thing or something in uh, i do silly things in general like try to matlab say something which you shouldn't which is flattering or yeah. trying and then i'm like feeling that okay i shouldn't have said that <laughs> yeah yeah that's the feeling every other that yeah. i have okay what what is your most ridiculous phobia um i am afraid of being alone okay as such like not uh, alone as in like alone in mm-hmm. room mm-hmm. but Alone, alone like, for like even a day or anything like okay. that. I think that's okay. Okay. Uh, what is the weirdest talent you have? I can uh, move my ears. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you uh, like if you could communicate with, communicate with animals, which one you would choose? I would like to communicate with dogs because they would know a lot of things about this campus in general <laughs> because they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can ask um, them locations and all. Okay, coming to our last question. What's the most adventurous thing you have ever done, or would like to do in future? Mm, the most adventurous thing would be to probably uh, jump off a not very high cliff into the sea. That would okay, be really into nice. the sea. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, with that, and uh, our interview ends here. Thank you so much, Rago, for Thank accepting you. our invitation and giving your knowledgeable. talks to our fellow aspire i hope they will be uh, this your your guidance will be very helpful for them